Hello guys, a warm welcome back to the Kilohertz Mercedes channel and I hope you're safe and well. This video you join me in my 2013 SL63 AMG which is one of the R231 model SLs. Now if you've got the AMG version or you have one of the smaller engine models like the V6 they all have fantastic sound systems in here. Whether your car's fitted with the Harman Kardon system or the optional more expensive B&O system which has the kind of little raise up tweeters they all sound fantastic as I say. They're all run by the Mercedes NTG 4.5 command unit and for the SL model, they actually remove one of the options from it, which is the fader menu. The fader menu is available on all the other Mercedes in the range, but not this one. Now, if you're not familiar with what it does, all it does is allow you to put a front or rear bias on where the sound's coming through. Particularly useful if you like bassy tunes, you can push, push it further towards the back, where you've got the larger subs. Now, I understand why Mercedes did this. I mean, to be honest, the car's tiny inside compared to other cars. You don't even have a rear seat, of course. So you kind of your head is pretty much sort of equidistant between all the different speakers. I like to tweak around with options, and I'm sure you do as well because you're watching this video. And I like to enable little menus and things that you're not normally supposed to see. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you enable that, and we have a little play around to see if it actually improves the sound or not. Let's get started. So make sure your ignition is on and set to position three. Now you don't need to switch the actual engine on, just the ignition switch. Once powered on, navigate to the audio menu, as indicated at the top of the screen. Then press down and select the sound sub-menu from the bottom right of the screen. Within this sub-menu, you'll see along the bottom it's listed treble, bass, balance and 3D sound, but no fader option. Once we've completed this task, the fader option will appear here next to the balance. So next we're going to activate the engineering mode. To do this, from any screen, press and hold the red end call button on the left hand side, as well as the number one and also the hash buttons on the right hand side. Now all three must be held down simultaneously for around five seconds or so. After this time, the engineering mode will be activated. This screen is the main front screen of the engineering mode. Scroll down with the controller to option 7, hardware setting or HW setting for short. Select this and scroll down once again and select 7.7, .7, head unit parameter or HU parameter for short. Inside this menu there are 16 pages full of options available as noted at the top of the title bar you can see here, 1 of 16. Once you reach the bottom of each screen, such as option 7 on this front screen, you'll have to pull down the controller downwards to get onto the next page. Slowly work your way through each screen with the controller, avoiding the temptation to play around with any of the countless options, until you reach option 48, speaker control, and select this. Here you have the option to change it from the default setting for the SL, balance and change it to the balance and fader option instead. Once changed, confirm this by pressing the back button next to the control on the dashboard. Head back onto page 7 of the head unit parameter screen and it should now be displayed as balance and fader. Now keep pressing the back button again and again working your way back through all the menus until you get back to the main engineering screen you'll notice that this is page one of two. Simply scroll down to option seven and then press down on the controller to access the second page. Now scroll down and select end to exit the engineering mode. Now switch off the ignition and remove your key and exit the car. That's extremely important you do this. You need to lock the car for at least one minute Otherwise, these changes will not be activated and you'll have to start the entire process once again. After a minute, unlock the car and switch on the ignition once again and navigate to the audio menu. Then, down and across to the sound sub-menu on the bottom right. Inside, you'll now be able to see the new balance and fader menu. Now, have a good play around with this. Change the front and rear bias by pressing up and down on the central controller. I can't demonstrate this on this video as I'll end up with a copyright strike should I put any of my tunes on. 
and if I'm honest with you, it doesn't really work that well. It seems to have quite a few flat spots where you seem to lose some of the actual audio. It's best described as, I guess, kind of like a buggy option. It's sort of like an early version or a beta version that hasn't been kind of finalised, which is probably one of the reasons why Mercedes actually left it out in the first place. In fact, I've resorted to changing it back to standard, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Even though I prefer bass heavy music, I think the standard setup's better than how actually manually adjusting it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this short how-to video. Just a little quick option which is quite neat to have enabled. I understand why Mercedes did remove it from the car, but I prefer to have as many options as possible. I like to geek out on all the different menus and whatnot. So if you enjoyed this video and you actually found it useful, please give it a thumbs up, which does help with YouTube's algorithm of raising the uh, awareness of my videos. And if you haven't done already, consider clicking on that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. That way you're notified as soon as I upload any new videos and content. As always, thanks a lot for your support and watching the video. Until next time, cheers.